All right, so um, here's my overall thoughts on it. So pride is a pride and making it, staying hungry, um, even though you're famous and made a lot of money, is a common thing on this album, and that's something that like honestly I think is very relatable to a lot of people. Like, how do I stay hungry? A lot of celebrities and like rappers and stuff. How do I stay hungry? How do I stay motivated? I made all this money, you know. Like, especially if you grew, you you made fame by talking about like street shit, like you're not doing that no more. So how do I stay hungry? How do I stay relevant? How do I keep it going? That's a common theme on this album. Um, I feel like he did a great job of explaining it. Um, I think he dropped the ball on a hundred mil. That song had a lot of potential if he would have just switched it up a little bit, man. I know a lot of people who like that song too, but like, I didn't like it. Um, I'm glad he worked with a lot of other producers, a lot of other artists. It's like him getting out of his element. He didn't kill with the features. Um, I would have loved to see somebody from Dream, like Jid, um, spit on there. But like, I love what he did with it, you know. Um, more money talk on this album. Like, he talks about cash and, you know, being rich more than he usually does. But it went with the theme of the album, so I'm not holding him on that one. Um but I really want a boss album from the after listening to this album, and and that's a great thing. Like I love Dreamville, um, them and TDE are like my favorite labels because I like what they do. But I especially love Dreamville, um, and this album honestly showed me like like when I was listening to it, I was like, man, I really like J Cole's music because he's like relatable to me. Like a lot of the stuff that he be talking about, I'm like, yeah, man. I, that's like me low-key like I some of the stuff that he be talking about I'm like yeah I went through that that's how I feel or you know like he got songs that I'm like yeah my pride is literally why I got into that scuffle or my pride is the reason why I said this or did this so like um yeah he's very relatable and that's probably why J. Cole is like one of the best he's great and he's relatable and that's something that a lot of people can't say like um yeah he's that guy though um but i'm gonna give you my least favorite track is obviously 100 mil which i think a lot of people like that song too but i'm not a, i just don't i don't like it i don't know what it, i think it's the production and the flow my favorite song is hunger on the hillside that song is so fucking fire like that song is so fucking fire Production on this album, I give it a, I give it an eight point five out of ten. Now he used producers um, that like I wanted him to use, but also um, some of the beats on there, I felt like I I didn't like. You know, sometimes J Cole, I'm not gonna lie, he can have like the Nas the Nas syndrome, the Nas syndrome for those who don't know is what I call it, the Nas syndrome, is terrible beat selection. Sometimes J. Cole can have, um, some beats are just like, you're too good for that, you know? And sometimes he does production, I get it, he does like everything. But sometimes like the beat selection, it's like, they're good beats, but they're like not beats I wanna see him on. You, if you get what I'm saying, like those are beats I'm like, if you gave that to somebody else, like that would be a fucking hit. But um, he has that syndrome sometimes, you know? Not all the time. Um, because he produces some of his stuff, there'd be some fire ass beats. <laughs> um, but Nas is a terrible beat selector, and I would go to my grave saying that. Um, the album has some re listenability. I re listened to it about 10 times. Um, what I would pro approve on, honestly, is narrowing down like the subject matter. Like the subject pride, I feel like he did a great job and having more money. If he would have like reined it in a little bit, I would have loved for him to do that. But I still feel like it's a great job. Um, stuff that I would improve on are like minimal stuff. Um, like I honestly feel like I just want, I want like an aggressive ass album from J. Cole, but that's not who he is. I want like I want an album from him where all the songs are like 95 South or uh, Applying Pressure. And that's not who he is, you know what I'm saying? J. Cole is a storyteller. I literally became a fan of J. Cole because of his storytelling and his lyricism. 
I know a lot of people look at him as like, oh, he's educated and he's all this, he's all that. Um, I never looked at J. Cole as that, even though he is a he went to college and all that. I looked at him for his storytelling, his lyricism, and he's very relatable to me in ways that I some ways I hate to admit, um, in some ways that I'm like, yeah, like I see that, you know. It it low key be like, damn man, do you know me? <laughs> but um my rating of the album, I give it an eight point five out of ten fire album um definitely something that i really enjoyed um something i enjoy more and more every time i listen to it as well probably gonna listen to it right after this um at least i'm listening to hunger on hillside because that song is flames um but shout out to j cole and thank you for listening to uh, um wrap it up if you stayed and listened thank you as well um don't forget to like share subscribe Share this with your friends, share this with your family, share, share this with J. Cole, share this with Boss, share this with whoever. Um, and if you're listening to this, also check out my playlist that I make every week. It's called the Radio Raheem Tape. It comes out on Apple Music, Amazon Music, SoundCloud, and Spotify. Um, yeah, man, and until next time, peace.